Namaskar. I'm Dr. Naresh Kumar from National Weather Forecasting Center, New Delhi. I will be presenting weekly weather review and outlook for next two weeks. If you talk about the previous week, there was two low pressure area which influenced our uh, country and one first low pressure area formed over the northwest of Bengal on 22nd, it become well marked on 23rd and thereafter we can into a low pressure area over 24th and the, on 25th again it was low pressure area lies over the northern part of the central MP. Thereafter, it would weaken and seen as a cyclonic circulation of our northwest MP on 26th. And another low pressure area formed over northwest Bay of Bengal on 27th, become Bell Mark on 28th. And there was a offshore trough was also there, Maharashtra to Kerala coast a few days of a week, and monsoon trough was active and near its normal position during most days of the week. Uh, if you talk about uh, there was a significant rainfall occurs due to these two low pressure area over most part of the country. On first day, 22nd, we experienced uh, extremely heavy rainfall over West MP and uh, that is uh, Konkan, Goa, Telangana and Madhya Maharashtra also. On 23rd, due to the low pressure area, we experienced extremely heavy rainfall over Odisha and West MP. Konkan, Goa, even Madhya Maharashtra also experienced extremely heavy rainfall up to 59 centimeter. Vidarva, Telangana, Kostra Karnataka, NIK, SIK also experienced extremely heavy rainfall on 23rd. On 24th, and it occurs over the East Rajasthan, West MP, Madhya Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh. 25th, it occurs due to uh, that is over Jammu Kashmir, East Madhya Pradesh. 26th over West Rajasthan, West MP, Saurashtra Kash, 27th East Rajasthan, West MP, and 28th East UP and Himachal Pradesh experiences extremely heavy rainfall more than 20 centimeter. So uh, this is a uh, you can uh, you can see a uh, weekly rainfall from 22nd to 28th July, and another is cumulative rainfall from 1st July, 1st June to 28th July. You can see uh, for the figures, most of the summer regions received uh, that is a normal or uh, above normal rainfall activity over Royal Sima, except Royal Sima, Bihar, or northeastern states. And if you see the cumulative rainfall as a country as a whole uh, during this week, that was 77.5 millimeter, which is more than 15. Uh, percent of abnormal rainfall activity. Northwest was near normal. Central India received highest rainfall that is 53% of abnormal and South Peninsula also received 37% of normal rainfall activity. Due to that one, country as a whole received 416.6 millimeter rainfall against its normal rainfall of 424.1 mm and overall it was 2% below normal rainfall activity. So this is a day-to-day -day progress of the rainfall activity. Here you can see from the figure from 22nd to uh, 28th rainfall is the near normal or above normal except one day 27th July. And uh, from the figure two, you can see here that is the actual rainfall um, uh, that is uh, here up to, you can see from 29th July, our cumulative actual rainfall is 427 millim millimeter against cumulative normal rainfall up to that is 29 July is 433.9, which is a uh, 2% below normals. And here departure rainfall, here you can see rainfall initially was above normals. Thereafter from uh, 6 July it started below normals and thereafter now is, it is almost near normal that is 2% uh, below normals. So uh, this is the current uh, meteorological condition as on today. Here we have a well marked low pressure area over GWV and adjoining Bangladesh, and uh, which is uh, likely to move uh, nearly westward uh, and uh, uh, across uh, West Bengal, Jharkhand, and Bihar. Thereafter, it may get weakened, and its remnant is likely to move up to Uttar Pradesh. 
and monsoon trough is active it's western and is north of its normal position and eastern end is near normal position a cyclonic circulation lies over haryana another is uh that is a cyclone circulation lies over is up and neighborhood up to mid tropospheric levels and there is offshore trough is also there along the west coast and under the influence of these uh, synoptic conditions here we are expecting uh, having to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall over uh, uh, gwv that is associated with low and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall over the other part of the country like himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana east madhya pradesh west uh, up bihar jharkhand and odisha and thereafter day 2 we are expecting slightly that is extremely heavy rainfall over uh, jharkhand and chatisgarh due to the low pressure area and there is a strong southwesterly wind likely to prevail uh, over uh, northwest india due to the confluence between the monsoon trough uh, and uh, southwesterly wind we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall over uh, east rajasthan also and heavy to heavy rainfall uttarakhand west rajasthan madhya pradesh and bihar on day 3 we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall over east rajasthan and madhya pradesh and very heavy rainfall over east pradesh east uttar pradesh west rajasthan jharkhand chatisgarh and bihar on day 4 we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall over east rajasthan and very heavy over madhya pradesh and day 5 we are not expecting any uh extremely heavy rainfall over heavy to very heavy rainfall likely to continue over east rajasthan and west of it here extremely heavy rainfall mean more than 20 cm and heavy to high heavy mean more than 6.5 cm to 12 cm sorry uh, that is a heavy and more than 12 cm to uh, 20 cm so uh, if you talk about uh, next uh, that is a uh, weekly rainfall forecast here due to as i briefed about the five days forecast again this is a somewhat of the repetitions we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated the uh, very heavy falls over gwv odisha east mp chatisgarh extremely heavy as briefed earlier over uh, gwv on 29th jharkhand chatisgarh 30th east mp on 31st july and thereafter over east rajasthan and west mp is also likely to continue received heavy to very heavy spells till second from 29th to 2nd august and thereafter from extremely heavy rainfall over east rajasthan from 30th 31st and 1st august and thereafter that is sorry 30 july 31st july and 1st august and over west madhya pradesh on 31st july and thereafter its intensity is likely to decrease thereafter and current spell of the widespread rainfall activity over isolated heavy to very heavy likely to continue over western himalaya region till 30th july and thereafter it will decrease and over fairly widespread to widespread rainfall activity likely to continue over uttar pradesh with isolated heavy falls during most days of the week and if you talk about the week 2 here what we are expecting monsoon trough is likely to be uh north of its normal position and near normal position during most days of the week we are expecting fairly widespread to widespread rainfall with isolated heavy falls over north east east adjoining northwest india that includes up uttarakhand and central india during most days of the week so rainfall activity is likely to be normal to above normal likely over north east india east and adjoining india of northwest india and central part of the country it is likely to be below normal or most part of uh, uh, that is north west and uh, sorry south peninsula of india and uh, slightly we can say jammu kashmir uh, himachal are slightly plains of the north west thank you very much